The Chewy Lark Box S redefines the mini PC category with a compact form factor, good specs, and great affordability. Targeting casual users and professionals needing a secondary or space-saving PC, the Lark Box S packs fairly adequate performance for light productivity and multitasking in its almost palm-sized design or form factor. We even ran some games for the heck of it. But is a computer like this even really worth it? Let's find out. Starting off with design. At just 118 by 118 by 41.3 millimeters and weighing approximately 478 grams, the Larkbox S is incredibly portable and sleek. It's got curved edges, so it isn't exactly a square, so I guess we can call it a squircle. The minimalist design features a satin black finish with well-placed ventilation at the left, right, and back portions of the case, which provides efficient airflow. Despite how tiny it is, the Larkbox S feels nice and sturdy, and we even get a vase amount in the box if ever we just wanted to attach this thing to the back of our monitors or even TVs, which additionally helps a lot with cable management if you're someone looking for that absolute minimalist aesthetic. While the plastic build is solid, it lacks the premium feel of metal-clad alternatives in higher price brackets. But hey, don't let the industrial build fool you. The Larkbox S also features dynamic RGB lighting around the front I.O. because why not? But don't mistake this thing for a gaming nook because this thing does not even include a discrete GPU inside. And users do have the option to toggle the lighting off through the BIOS settings if they prefer a more plain, minimal, subtle look. Speaking of I.O., the Larkbox S gets a generous array of ports. We get one full-featured Type-C port, full-featured because it supports video output, another USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-C port, two USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-A ports, two USB 2.0 Type-A ports, and one HDMI 2.0 port which supports 4K at 60Hz output, followed by another HDMI 1.4 port which can do 4K at 30Hz. We also get an RJ45 gigabit Ethernet port, a 3.5mm combo audio jack, and the DC in for power at the rear. This configuration allows for up to three simultaneous displays. So if, I don't know, you were one of those number crunching day traders, we could go full on Rain Man with up to three displays outputting our graphs and metrics and spreadsheets with this little Chewy Larkbox S. But jokes aside, it truly does allow for three display real estate, which offers a lot of multitasking potential especially for professionals or power users who need multiple displays in their productivity workflow. Wireless connectivity options include Wi-Fi 5 and Bluetooth 5.1 support, while Wi-Fi 6 or Bluetooth 5.2 would have been welcome upgrades compared to the already existing Larkbox non-S variant. The included features with the Larkbox S are adequate for most users in our opinion. Moving over to performance and benchmarks, the Larkbox S is powered by a 12th generation Intel Core i3-1220P processor featuring 10 cores and 12 threads, which is clocked up to 4.4 GHz. Paired with 16GB of DDR4 memory and 512GB of the PCIe 3 SSD. Storage expansion options include just the lone M.2 PCIe 3 SSD slot, which is expandable of up to 1TB. Additionally, dual SODIMM slots also allow memory to be upgraded up to 64GB. It comes with, again, 16 uh, out of the box. So upgrading the 32 or even 64 could make Premiere run a bit better. Better as well. Checking out some benchmark scores, we actually do get some great sequential read and write speeds out of the Larkbox S with up to 3 gigabit per second read speeds and about 2.7 gigabit write speeds. With these results, we can safely say that it provides fast data access and snappy app loading times. 
And with our Geekbench 6 scores, we can infer it handles day-to-day -day productivity tasks with absolute ease. And with our 3D Mark Night Raid results, this demonstrates decent capability for casual or light gaming, or even slightly media-heavy tasks. While not designed for professional-grade workloads, it's capable of handling entry-level content creation. With the integrated Intel UHD graphics, it does support some games like Minecraft or even Genshin Impact. We can also display smooth 4K video playback, which is definitely a plus, especially in 2024. But for demanding GPU tasks, users should consider systems with discrete graphics instead of something like the Larkbox S. But of course, this did not stop us from running some games like the aforementioned Genshin Impact running at 60 frames per second. When outputting at 4K, frame drops were apparent even in the lowest graphics profile. Bump it up the high and highest for textures with a rendering scale of 0.9 and set to full HD resolution and Genshin Impact ran smooth. In the same settings, we still experienced a few frame drops here and there when a lot of elements and NPCs were on screen. I even threw in some Tekken 8 in there just because I was curious and lo and behold, we got it to run at a stable 30 frames per second at the lowest graphic setting at full HD, which ran with a lot of frame drops, virtually making it somewhat unplayable, especially for online matches. Although you bump the res down to HD and we can get a smoother 30 to 40 frames per second average, which does deem it a lot more playable, I still wouldn't recommend online matches on the Larkbox S. Jumping into some editing or content creation, Lightroom Classic was handled pretty easily on this little 12th generation Core i3. So did light Photoshop tasks. We didn't really push the Photoshop layers to the limit, but honestly, we can get a lot of work done with it already, so it's a pass for me. Not to mention, we even have apps like Canva now, so that runs through a browser just fine as well. When it came to Premiere workflows, we can get away with cutting a project from start to finish, adding some sound design, maybe even a score. Uh, but it does struggle with projects with a lot of motion graphics baked in, so don't really expect that kind of performance from the Chewy Larkbox S. We did, however, export some old 4K projects, both light and graphics intensive, to get some numbers. So for edits with some MoGraphs, we could export in 4K in 50 to 30 minutes, depending on the length of the project and 30 minutes to an hour for motion graphic heavy 4K exports. None of those projects actually even had a running time of more than 15 minutes, so keep that in mind. Another nice thing about the Larkbox S is it runs impressively quiet during most operations. Even under load, fan noise remains minimal, making it suitable for use in most small or home office environments. Thermal performance is robust for its size, with temperatures averaging 65 to 70 degrees Celsius during stress tests. The case's ventilation system keeps it cool without sacrificing noise levels, which I also really liked. For software, it runs on Windows 11 Home out of the box. The Larkbox S offers a modern and familiar operating system experience for most. Uh, the minimal pre-installed software ensures that the system feels clean and responsive out of the box. We could see this perfect for a lot of enterprises or even small businesses who need a computer for their office. And I can't stress enough that if you have like a small business that just needs an office computer for documents and spreadsheets, this guy is perfect. So anyway, for pricing, at the time we recorded this video, we have yet to get the official price of the Chewy Larkbox S, um, but our guess is it'll be priced around 19,999 pesos in their global um, web store. We got this inference after checking out the existing Larkbox already available equipped with the Alder Lake N100 chipset. Either way, that thing is weak sauce compared to this guy. So in conclusion, the Chewy Larkbox S stands out as a capable, compact, and affordable mini PC. With its impressive performance for light tasks and robust connectivity and expandable memory and storage, it caters well to users seeking a secondary PC or space-saving solution for home or office use. 
If you're after a versatile mini PC that won't break the bank, the Chewy Larkbox S is a strong contender in its category. Of course, if you wanted greater performance out of your mini PC, this isn't the guy to be checking out with. But those things are a heck of a lot more expensive compared to this. So yeah, that's it for this video. What do you guys think of the Chewy Larkbox S? A mini PC that shouldn't cost more than 25k. Do you guys even think you guys would even have a use for a mini PC in your lives? We're curious to know. Tell us your stories in the comment section below. But if you found this video informative, educational, or if it's helped you make a purchasing decision, be sure to smack that like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and hit that bell icon so you get notified of our future uploads. Be sure to visit egotech.com and follow us on all our social media platforms. That's Facebook, Instagram, X, and TikTok for the latest tech news and reviews. Once again, this was the Chewy Larkbox S. And I'm Miguel, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.